Well, hello again. Um, for the second week running, I'm uh, in a place I didn't expect to be. Uh, last week it was the Elan Valley of Mid Wales, and today, well, I'm in the Peak District, just inside the Cheshire border of the Peak District. Um, Christine, in her line of work, has an appointment just behind me, a building behind me. <laughs> <laughs> which it's a bit weird really she's in a place of work well not a permanent place of work and I'm well I'm going up there I think I have got an OS map <laughs> I think it's called um, I think they're called Black Rocks um, but my map it's just off my map and we are planning to go for a walk over by the Cat and Fiddle later so um, I'm just following you see here, following this footpath sign, the car's over there. Yeah, so I'm just following this footpath sign um, up to these interesting looking rocks. They look a bit like Wingather rocks, which are not far away. So I'm guessing it'll be Gritstone. So yeah, I'm just going to vlog this piece, this little trip and probably s splice it into the main uh, walk we do later. So this is like a little, um, a little extra really, a little starter before the main course. Okay, I'll see you later. This is uh, about as far as I'm going to come. I'm not going to be faffing about with the wall because I'm climbing over the wall because I haven't got time. As I say, I've got to get back for two and it's about 25 to two now. So this section is just going to be a little short exploration and hopefully uh, I'll be filming uh, a longer walk later. I don't know what the high point is here. I say I haven't got a map. Should a nuisance. Yeah, so I'm going to head back. I'll see you later. on about 10 miles from where I was before up on Black Rocks I think it was called. And we're at Derbyshire Bridge now, Christine's joined me 
after our appointment. So we're going to do a walk up to, I think it's called Axe Edge Moor. It's just a circuit. It comes out back out the Cat and Fiddle. So it's got a bit blowy. I've got the drone with me, but I don't know what the potential is for uh, drone flying today. But I think this walk's about seven miles. So it's nearly three o'clock. So um, two or three hours. Yeah, looking back at the uh, Cat and Fiddle pub, which um, is one of the highest pubs in England. I think about the third highest. Quite an iconic pub, but for some bizarre reason, best known to the owners, which is Robinson the Brewers. It's been closed for three years. Uh, why an iconic pub, which is something like the Tan Hill, the Penigurid, uh, the Claque, there are all these famous sort of upland pubs, mountain pubs. Why? And it's on a really busy road. In fact, you can see traffic. We've got to cross that road in a minute, but why the hell have let it run down of, and close it down? I just don't know. Absolutely bizarre. Well, there's a sign back there that says, the landowner, landowner has excluded access to dogs. Well, the landowner can get stuffed. We're keeping them on a the lead. There's obviously no reason why a dog on a lead can't cross a public footpath. So, uh, up the workers and all that and stuff the landowners. Coal Authority secured site. It's filled in. Oh, that's an old. Coal mine in the, in the middle of nowhere. Well, this is very strange. We're here. Uh, Furtively, um, sign saying dogs are banned from here. It's a public right of way, a public footpath. Whereas there's a landowner that doesn't allow access to dogs. And uh, we've seen some grouse, so I'll be stuffed if I'm going to uh, keep off this moorland uh, because of bloody grouse shooting. So we've ignored the sign. And we are uh, carrying on with our planned walk across the moors. This is Axedge Moor, I think it's called. Well, not for the first time. I think we've taken the wrong path. We came to a junction, we came to a wall, and the, the path. Well, there's somebody up there. Oh, two more people. Oh, perhaps we are on a path. Yeah, we took a path and we'll be... Um... Oh, good, yeah. Is it... Path there, there's people! Well, as I say, we had this problem, people with uh, signs saying no dogs allowed. So I'm hoping they're walkers and... Yeah, it could be Orchard Farm. Oh, nice little peak farm. A lovely place, fantastic views. I bet it gets snowed in in a harsh winter.
doing very well. <laughs> he went up Moila Guest in North Wales yesterday, which is a little 400 foot, 400 metre hill, quite a craggy little hill. And today he's doing about a seven hour walk in the Peak District. So for a, an old dog, he's uh, doing really well at the moment. He's looking quite sprightly. What a gorgeous evening. Well, I don't know how far it is to go. It's very windy, so I don't know if you're picking this up. Um, we should be approaching the cat and fiddle. Uh, which is. Um, once you reach the Cat and Fiddle, we just got to drop down to Derbyshire Bridge, I think it's called, where we're parked up. Uh, yeah, it's been quite a long day. <laughs> we went slightly wrong at one stage, but we just ended up more or less joining the, the track that we were heading for anyway, so it wasn't a disaster. There's the Cat and Fiddle. That's Shining Tor over there. So we're about to join a very busy trunk road, A road. But we're not on it for very long before we head back down to our car, so... Uh, yeah, okay, I'll probably sign off now. Oh, nose is running. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon. See you then.